We now have several methods for working out the area under a curve. Firstly, we can approximate the area using a number of equal width rectangles. So to find an overestimate, we draw rectangles which fit over the curve. I've divided the width into three rectangles, each with width one unit. And the curve has the equation y equals x cubed plus 10. So my y values here is 74, 37, and 18. So my overestimate is, and my underestimate is found by fitting rectangles just under the curve. So this time my tallest rectangle is 37, then 18, and then my smallest rectangle is 11. Area estimate, 97.5 square units. A more precise method is to integrate x cubed plus 10 from 1 to 4, giving us an answer of 93 and 3 quarters square units. Thirdly, if you have access to a CAST calculator, you should be able to input this integral and get the calculator to output an answer of 93.75. Make sure that you're able to do this on your calculator. If you have a CAS calculator, you can also use this fourth method, which is to draw a graph of the function. Once you've drawn the graph, you can then go to analysis, g solve, and the integral symbol, input the lower and upper bounds of 1 and 4, and the class pad will sketch the area and tell you the size of that area. We're going to find the area between the curve y equals 3x take x squared and the x axis between different x values. So using the integration method from x equals 0 to x equals 3, this gives us an area of 4.5 square units. And then for part b, I'm going to integrate from 3 to 4, that same function. And the result of this integration is negative 11 over 6. The reason being that Part of this function is below the x-axis. So it's helpful if we draw a sketch of the function. The function is a quadratic and if we factorise we can see that it has roots when x is 0 and when x is 3. And because of the negative coefficient of x squared we can see that it is a parabola with a maximum turning point. The first part of the question asks for the area enclosed from x equals 0 to x equals 3. That's this section here. And it has an area of 4.5 square units. But the next section from 3 to 4 is below the x-axis. When we integrate it, we got the value of negative 11 over 6, so it's the absolute value of 11 over 6, which we can just say is 11 over 6. So what if we wanted the total area from 0 to 4? Let's try integrating. This gives an answer of 8 over 3. Now clearly the total area can't be 8 over 3. 8 over 3 is 2 and 2 thirds. And we had 4.5 square units just in the section from 0 to 3. The integral from 0 to 4 is the sum of the integrals from 0 to 3 and 3 to 4. So it's 4.5, which is 27 over 6, plus negative 11 over 6, 8 over 3. 
as we found earlier. However, this is not the total area between the function and the x-axis from 0 to 4. To do that we need to add the absolute values of each of these numbers. So the total area is 27 over 6 plus 11 over 6 which is 19 over 3 square units. Try this example yourself before watching my solution. I'm going to start with a sketch of the function so I'll start by factorising and from this I can see I've got roots when x is 0, 3 and 1 and it's a cubic function with a positive coefficient of x cubed so I know that the shape is going to be like this. Now I can see that the curve is enclosed between x is 0 and x is 1 and between x is 1 and x is 3. So I'm going to integrate the function and work out these areas separately. The integral of the function from 0 to 1 is 5 over 12. So that means that this area here is 5 over 12 square units. The integral from 1 to 3 of the function is negative 8 over 3, which means that this area below the x-axis is 8 over 3 square units. In answer to the question, the total enclosed area is 5 over 12 plus 8 over 3, which is 37 over 12 square units. We're now going to consider areas between curves. So if we look at this pink region here, it's enclosed between the blue curve, y equals f of x, and the red curve, y equals g of x. You can see that the blue curve is above the red curve. The integral of y equals f of x from a to b, that would tell me this area between the blue curve and the x-axis and the lines x equals a and x equals b. But to get the pink region, I then need to subtract the integral of y equals g of x from a to b. So it's the integral from a to b of f of x subtract the integral from a to b of g of x. And it's that way round because f of x is above g of x. Now my knowledge of integrals tells me that I can subtract one function from the other before integrating and sometimes it's easier to work out this way rather than working out the two integrals separately. Again, you should try this on your own before watching my solution. I'm going to start with a sketch. In order to find the area enclosed between these two curves, I need to know where they're going to cross over. I'm going to solve 2x squared equals 12 take x squared. The functions cross at positive and negative 2. The y values are 8, negative 2, 8, and positive 2, 8 as my two points of intersection. They're both quadratics. The first curve is concave up and the second curve is concave down. So to find this area enclosed between the two curves, I need the integral from negative 2 to 2 of the blue curve, which is 12 take x squared, to subtract the integral from negative 2 to 2 of the red curve, 2x squared. Now I can combine these before integrating. So this is the integral from negative 2 to 2 of 12 take 3x squared, which is 32 square units.
Now let's consider a region bounded by two curves, but part of the required area lies below the x-axis. The way we approach this is to imagine adding a constant to each of the two curves so that the region is entirely above the x-axis. y equals f of x is now y equals f of x plus c, and y equals g of x is now y equals g of x plus c. The area of the region is unchanged, but we can now tackle this problem without having to worry about the fact that some of the region is below the x-axis. So the shaded area can be defined as the integral from a to b of f of x plus c take g of x plus c. Now hopefully you can see that these plus c's are going to cancel out and so the shaded area is found by subtracting g of x from f of x and integrating from a to b. In other words, when the region is bounded by two curves, we don't need to worry if part of the curve is below the x-axis. We just need to subtract one curve from the other and integrate. In order to sketch these two curves, I need to find the axis intercepts and points of intersection of the two curves. So we'll start with y equals x cubed, take 4x. The y-axis intercept is when x is 0, so that's going to be 0, 0 for the y-axis intercept. And then if I factorise the expression, I can see that the two other x-axis intercepts, because I already have one x-axis intercept at 0, 0, the other two are at 2, 0 and negative 2, 0. With y equals 3x squared, I just have the 1 intercept at 0, 0. Now clearly 0, 0 is a point of intersection between the two curves, but we're going to check to see if there are any others. So x cubed take 4x equals 3x squared. And factorising gives us x is 0, which we already know, or 4, or negative 1. Then we need to find the corresponding y values. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 4, y is 48. And when x is negative 1, y is 3. Our axis intercepts are 0, 0, 2, 0, negative 2, 0. And the intersections of the two functions are 0, 0, 4, 48, and negative 1, 3. Our cubic function has a positive coefficient of x cubed, so it's going to be shaped like this. And our quadratic has a positive coefficient of x squared, so it's going to be concave up. And I have x-axis intercepts at negative 2, 0 and 2, and points of intersection at negative 1, 3 and 4, 48. The area enclosed between the two functions is split into two sections and so to work it out I need to integrate from negative 1 to 0. During this portion the red graph is above the blue graph so this is x cubed take 4x subtract 3x squared second enclosed area is found by integrating from 0 to 4 and this time the blue function is above the red function so 3x squared take and we'll need brackets because there are two terms here x cubed take 4x dx you can practice integrating by hand and substituting and you can check your answer with a calculator, which is 32.75 square units.